Hello and good evening. I'm not very good at these one take videos. I, I kind of sit here and think I'm going to just nail these out for you and really help you. But then I listen to it back and I'm like, ah, the audio quality just isn't how I desire it. Anyway, enough about me. How you all doing? I hope you're well. Um, as the title insinuates, I'm going to show you how to set up a minimum stock level function in Halo PSA. Now, this is using custom fields. This isn't natively built into Halo, but I was speaking to a customer just the other day who was saying, Connor, how do I track my stock? I don't know if I've got enough in or not. And I was like, hmm, I don't really know. And then I thought about it and came up with this little solution for them, which they love, that this works for them really well. Um, I asked if I could share this on YouTube with everyone else. They said, sure, um, if it helps them, go for it. So I wanna show you what I mean by this. So you just go to products and I'm just gonna go to uh, serialized items and I'm just gonna pick on ethernet cable five meter. So if you're not familiar with stock in Halo, you can basically have multiple stock locations, such as a warehouse in the office in a van, um, and you can basically transfer stock, receive stock, and then also issue stock when you're on site or you know, you're know you selling an item. Now, that's fantastic in Halo. I can click receive stock. I can say I've got 10 of these in the post. They come from Amazon, and I'm gonna put all these in the warehouse. Like so, we have 10. And you'll see that on the 22nd of September, I added five, um, but they all went, so I had zero remaining. And on the 18th, which is today, I added 10, and I still have 10 remaining. The problem is, as far as I'm aware, you can't get any notifications when your stock runs out, and you also can't have a minimum stock level, so you don't, again, it's not easy to understand how many you should or shouldn't have in there. So I made a little solution for this that I'm gonna share with you. So what I did is went to configuration. I went to custom objects, custom fields, and then I selected, Product. If you are in the USA language pack, this will say item. Just bear that in mind. And I made a new custom field. The field name is almost irrelevant, but I recommend you rename them to something that makes sense. So minimum stock. Just know you can't have any spaces or special characters in that field name. The field label is going to be minimum stock levels. That is what displays to me. This wants to be a text field. But the input type wants to be limited to an integer. Um, you can only put a number in there, have a number of minimum stock. And that's all I'm gonna do. You could make this mandatory, so every time you add a new item, you put in there what your minimum stock level is. But for now, I'm just gonna click save, and that's not too relevant. Then I'm gonna just click edit, and go all the way back down, and then click details. I don't know if this is a bug, always by design, but the first time you add a new custom field, details does not show in the tab box. I'll demonstrate this very quickly here. You can't do detail, doesn't appear. You have to save it first. Yes, I'll be logging up to Halo after this video. I figured that out myself five minutes ago on my first recording. Um, but essentially what we've done now is we've said add the custom field CF minimum stock to the tab details on products. So if I go to products, I go to Ethernet cable five meters. I'm in the details tab. I scroll to the bottom and you'll see here we now have a minimum stock levels custom field. I'm just going to type in the value 30. Now, this is a custom field. This is plain text. This isn't going to do anything particularly crazy for us but we can leverage it. So now I want you to make a report with me. I want you to click reporting in the bottom left of Halo. My little face is covering that up. And then click the online repository button for me at the bottom. In the top left, I want you to type in stock levels and basically go and steal this report from Halo PSA and add this report to your library. Then click back on reports and then basically open the report. What we're going to do is edit this, and this is a nice report out of the bag anyway, but we can say I want to edit this, and I want to basically edit this SQL. And this is quite scary. This is very daunting to me when I first did this. But once you start getting around it a little bit, it actually makes kind of a lot of sense. I'm just going to place this in here, and I'm going to do the most simple SQL I've ever done in my life here. I'm going to do CF, which stands for custom field, because we just made a custom field. I'm going to type in minimum stock, and then I'm going to type as and do minimum stock levels. And we're going to click test. Okay, cool. I'll show that in a minute. But just to reiterate, I basically give in my custom field here. This doesn't work everywhere in the system, by the way, um, but it certainly does for this one. Um, I've given the, the custom field name in here. I then said as, so I want to display this custom field as and then give it a name. You can type anything between these two brackets, whatever your little heart desires. Um, and basically that is almost you done. You notice when I click test, we got an error and it's basically saying that um, you can't use minimum stock because it's not contained in an aggregate or a group by clause. What that means in English, um, I think, 
is it basically doesn't exist in this group by clause at the bottom here. So you need to add a comma, you need to press control V to paste it in and then click test and then it should say successful. It's going to go ahead and save that. Then you've got to go to your fields because this report does have um, all its fields added manually. And we need to go and add the field we just made called minimum stock levels. Click save and I'm just going to put this after quantity in stock and then click save again. We're then going to click view, view report. And as you can see now we have ethernet cable 5 meters, we have 10 in stock and we now have a minimum stock level of 30. What you can then do if I just go back into this is you can then click edit, schedule email and email this to yourself or purchasing or whoever does it and you can basically send this report each month and say you know if the stock level is you know lower than what it should be then please order it in. You can go slightly further with this report I'm not going to this evening because I've had a long day but you can add another column if you want and then put you know needs ordering um, if quantity in stock is less than minimum stock level then fill the field with needs ordering. Um, again, if you want to see that, let me know. I will put the report in the comments. But for now, that is pretty much it. So just to recap what we did, I made a new custom field in custom objects, custom fields, and I made this in the entity product. I saved it, very important, went back into it, and then said, I want to show this custom field on the details tab. That then gave me a plain text custom field on the detail of the asset and this will be on every asset there's no need you have to fill it in it's just there if you want it and then we made a report together and that is a little solution i found the other day to a problem that i had i thought i would share it all with you any questions find me in the comments below and have a lovely day i've been connor goodbye